Today is the launch of Elden Ring, which is one of the most anticipated games of 2022. In fact, it might be the most anticipated game. I haven't really played any Souls-like games before, and I saw the trailer for Elden Ring a few months back, and I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna have to give that game a try. Then the reviews came out, and everyone, and I mean everyone, is praising this game. Some of the most critical game reviewers out there are saying that Elden Ring might be the best game they have ever played. And honestly, when I saw that, I was absolutely floored because that is not a title you just hand out to any game. That That's a pretty big deal. Now, this video will not be a full review of the game. I mean, there's no possible way I could do that. I don't get games early, unfortunately. Maybe one day. But what I can do is I can benchmark the game for you using two different GPUs. So today, I'm recording two videos back to back. One for the RTX 3070 and one for the GTX 950. This video is about the RTX 3070 and how well it can run Elden Ring. Can it run it at 4 with all the settings maxed out and still maintain 60 frames per second? I don't know. Let's find out. And my next video will be about the GTX 950 and how well it will run Elden Ring. If you're interested in that, get subscribed so you don't miss that video. But for now, let's talk about the 3070 and let's see how well it performs. So we're using an RTX 3070 and we have it paired with an AMD Ryzen 5800X. I did previously run the game in full screen mode and I personally experienced a little bit of screen tearing, but the frame rate was still holding strong at 60 FPS. But with Borderless Window, it seemed to have cleared up all the screen tearing. As you can see, we're running at a native 4K resolution and we have the quality settings set to maximum. And under advanced settings, everything is set to maximum or high, which if it's on high, that's because that is the highest preset within that setting. And as you can see, we're outside and there is just a whole lot of stuff going on. This is a full native 4K maxed out settings and as you can see we're not even hitting 50 frames per second we are struggling over here we are on the struggle bus at 42 43 frames per second so obviously we're well below where we want to be at 60 fps so what we want to do is while we're standing here in the open with all the bells and whistles turned on is we want to mess around with the settings and see what it would take to get up to 60 frames per second. Now, keep in mind, this game is locked at 60 FPS. That means you cannot go above that no matter how good your hardware may be. Eventually, there's probably going to be some type of mod or something to unlock the frame rate. But for right now, the maximum that we can achieve is 60 frames per second. So how can we get to that? We can obviously drop the resolution down to 1440p or down to 1080p, and that will definitely have a massive impact on performance. As an example, I'll show you right here. If I drop down to 1440p and back out, as you can see, we shot right up to 60 FPS. We're not moving. We're outside. It's the exact same scene as it was a while ago. All we did was lower that 4K resolution down to 1440p, and now we have a locked 60 FPS, and it's not fluctuating at all. But I want to see if we can make that work with 4K, right? Because after all, I have a 4K monitor, and I want to see everything in 4K. So we're going to bump it back to 4K, and immediately, boom, we're back down to the 40s, 46, 47 FPS. So what can we do to get that up to 60 while at 4K? So the first thing we can do is we can lower the quality, right? We can go from maximum down to high. And as as you can see, our frame rate did go up just a little bit. We're closer to that 50 FPS marker. Right now, we're hovering at 48, 49 FPS, and that's still not quite where we want to be, so that was definitely a minor improvement. But what happens if we drop it down to medium? Okay, so there you go. We dropped it down to medium, and we went back to the title menu, and we came back in. And now, as you can see, we're above 50 FPS, so we're hovering at 53, 54 FPS, but there's already a massive trade-off. If you notice, there's a whole lot of flickering going on out there. All the trees are flickering hard and that's because we lowered all the settings down to medium. So really to get the best experience out of this, you're either going to want to run on maximum or high at 1440p or you can stay at 4k and you can try and mix and match all of your settings to get better image quality with the highest frame rate possible, but it looks like we're gonna really struggle to get a solid 60 FPS at 4K. So I'm definitely thinking with an RTX 3070, you're probably gonna need to play on 1440p. But let's mess around with some settings and see what we can do. So I'm gonna put everything back on high, and then I'm gonna go over to advanced and I'm just gonna start lowering different things, right? So depth of field, let's put it on medium. Let's take motion blur all the way off. Shadow quality, we can do medium, that should be fine. Lighting quality, 
quality. Let's leave that on high. Effects, let's do medium. Reflections, we'll do, oh, you got high or low. Let's do low. Water surface quality, we'll do low. Shader quality, we'll do medium. All right, let's see what that does, right? Okay, so we did a mix of different settings. And as you can see, we're still at the 50 FPS markers. So we didn't really improve our overall frame rate, but as you can see, the image quality is a little bit better. We don't have anywhere near as much flickering or stuttering going on, which is definitely an improvement. Okay, so I'm gonna do two more tests really quickly. I'm gonna go over here and lower the quality all the way down to low. Okay, so. We took the quality preset and we put everything on low. And as you can see, we have our 60 FPS at a native 4K, but my goodness, look how bad all of this is. Wow. Holy flickering, Batman. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. This game looks like, kind of looks like Minecraft, especially that building over there. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Okay, so obviously you do not want to play on low. So the better option here for the RTX 3070 is to play at a 1440p resolution and try and see how high you can push the overall settings. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so we're going to lower it down to 1440p and we're going to bump it back up to maximum. Okay, here we go. So we're back at 1440p and everything is maxed out, right? And as you can see, standing still and even moving around just a little bit, it seems like we have a pretty solid 60 FPS. But the fact that we took just a couple of steps and even dropped to 59, that tells me that when I go over here and I try to fight this guy on the horse, we're probably going to get a pretty big frame drop. But let's find out. All right, so we're officially in combat. He is hitting us. He is hurting us pretty badly. But we're still holding steadily at 60 FPS at 1440p with everything maxed out. Okay, so what I think is important to take away here is not necessarily my my gaming skills, particularly on Elden Ring anyway, but the fact that the RTX 3070 is a phenomenal 1440p card. I mean, as you can see, we're running Elden Ring, which is a brand new AAA title from From Software, and we're on 1440p with everything maxed out, and the game is running incredibly stable at 60 FPS for the most part. Occasionally, we're dipping down to 58, 59, but for the most part, we're at 60. When we get in combat, as you saw a while ago, we're mostly still at 60 FPS, but we do have those micro stutters, which were previously reported, and I don't think that that's necessarily a reflection on the GPU, but I think it's more of a, in-game engine optimization issue or something like that. So more than likely those micro stutters will go away the longer the game is out. Maybe in the next patch or two, the developers will fix that. And overall, I think performance will only get better from here. Okay, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. Let me know in the comments below, what GPU are you using to play Elden Ring? Do you think the 3070 is a good GPU for Elden Ring? Were you a little bit disappointed because it struggled at 4K? Do you even care? I'm just, I'm just curious. Once again, I'm about to release a video on the GTX 950 and I'm gonna benchmark it against the same game. And obviously we know this game can be a little bit demanding. So I'm, I'm very curious to see how that goes, but get subscribed so you don't miss that. That video will be coming out very, very soon. And until next time, E-Rock out.